Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, November 14th, 2020. It's a fine day. The light is just starting to come up outside. Um, yeah, today we're going to be reading, starting in Psalm 107. And the plan is to get all the way through to Psalm 119. Not read Psalm 119 today, but just stop at, at 118 and then start 119 tomorrow. And then I'll see if maybe I'll do that in two sections or something. I'm not sure yet. Um, but before we get into reading today, I'll go ahead and pray. Hmm. Father, God, I thank you for today. I thank you for your mercy, for your grace. I thank you for your peace. God, remind us that no matter what happens in our lives, things that are going on, our external circumstances, that you are in control. You are sovereign. God, I thank you for your word. I ask this morning, Holy Spirit, that you lead us and guide us in understanding, in, uh, yeah, things that we need to see. God, show us things that maybe we have not seen before. Yes, Lord, let your word just wash over us. Renew our minds, renew our spirits. And quench us. Yes, Father, we thank you. We ask these things in your name. Jesus. Amen. Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his loving kindness is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the adversary and gathered from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desert region. They did not find a way to an inhabited city. They were hungry and thirsty their soul fainted within them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. He led them also by a straight way to go to an inhabited city. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. For he has satisfied the thirsty soul and the hungry soul he has filled with what is good. There were those who dwelt in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in misery and chains, because they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he humbled their heart with labor. They stumbled and there was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands apart. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. For he has shattered the gates of bronze and cut bars of iron asunder. Fools, because of their rebellious way and because of their iniquities, were afflicted. Their soul abhorred all kinds of food and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness, and for his wonders to the sons of men. Let them also offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, and tell of his works with joyful singing. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. 
for he spoke and raised up a stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They rose up to the heavens. They went down to the depths. Their soul melted away in their misery. They reeled and staggered like a drunken man, and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distresses. He caused the storm to be still, so that the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad because they were quiet, so he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness and for his wonders to the sons of men. Let them extol him also in the congregation of the people and praise him at the seat of the elders. He changes rivers into a wilderness and springs of water into a thirsty ground, a fruitful land into a salt waste because of the wickedness of those who dwell in it. He changes a wilderness into a pool of water and a dry land into springs of water. And there he makes the hungry to dwell, so that they may establish an inhabited city, and sow fields and plant vineyards, and gather a fruitful harvest. Also he blesses them, and they multiply greatly, and he does not let their cattle decrease. When they are diminished and bowed down, through oppression, misery, and sorrow, he pours contempt upon the princes and makes them wander in a pathless waste. But he sets the needy securely on high away from affliction and makes his families like a flock. The upright see it and are glad, but all unrighteousness shuts its mouth. Who is wise? Let him give heed to these things and consider the loving kindness of the Lord. Psalm 108 My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing. I will sing praises, even with my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Save with your right hand and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will exalt. I will portion out Shechem and measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the helmet of my head. Judah is my scepter and Moab is my washbowl. Over Edom I shall throw my shoe. Over Philistia I will shout aloud. Who will bring me into the besieged city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have not you yourself, O God, rejected us? And will you not go forth with our enemies, O God? O give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is vain. Through God we will do valiantly. And it is he who shall tread down our adversaries. Psalm 109 O God of my praise, do not be silent, for they have opened the wicked and deceitful mouth against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without cause. In return for my love, they act as my accusers, but I am in prayer. Thus they have repaid me evil for good and hatred for my love. Appoint a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him come forth guilty and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children wander about and beg, and let them seek sustenance far from their ruined homes. Let the creditor seize all that he has, and let strangers plunder the product of his labor. Let there be none to extend loving kindness to him, nor any to be gracious to his fatherless children. 
Let his posterity be cut off. In a following generation, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and do not let the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off their memory from the earth. Because he did not remember to show loving kindness, but persecuted the afflicted and needy man, and the despondent in heart, to put them to death. He also loved cursing, so it came to him. And he did not delight in blessing, so it was far from him. But he clothed himself with cursing, as with his garment, and it entered into his body like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him as a garment with which he covers himself, for a belt with which he is constantly girding himself. Let this be the reward of my accusers from the Lord, and to those who speak evil against my soul. But you, O God, the Lord, deal kindly with me for your name's sake. Because your loving kindness is good, deliver me, for I am afflicted and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am passing like a shadow when it lengthens. I am shaken off like the locust. My knees are weak from fasting, and my flesh has grown lean without fatness. I have also become a reproach to them. When they see me, they wag their head. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me according to your loving kindness, and let them know that it is your hand. You, Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you bless. When they arise, they shall be ashamed, but your servant shall be glad. Let my accusers be clothed with this honor, and let them cover themselves with their own shame as with a robe. With my mouth I will give thanks abundantly to the Lord, and in the midst of many I will praise him. For he stands at the right hand of the needy to save him from those who judge his soul. Psalm 110 The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will stretch forth your strong scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will volunteer freely in the day of your power, in holy array from the womb of the dawn. Your youth are to you as the dew. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He will judge among the nations. He will fill them with corpses. He will shatter the chief men over a broad country. He will drink from the brook by the wayside. Therefore, he will lift up his head. Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. In the company of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are studied by all who delight in him. Splendid and majestic is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He has given food to those who fear him. He will remember his covenant forever. He has made known to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hand are truth and justice, and his precepts are sure. They are upheld forever and ever. They are performed in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Psalm 112 Praise the Lord! How blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. 
Light arises in the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and compassionate and righteous. It is well with the man who is gracious and lends. He will maintain his cause in judgment, for he will never be shaken. The righteous will be remembered forever. He will not fear evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is upheld. He will not fear until he looks with satisfaction on his adversaries. He has given freely to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn will be exalted in honor. The wicked will see it and will be vexed. He will gnash his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked will perish. Psalm 113 Praise the Lord! Praise, O servants of the Lord! Praise the name of the Lord! Blessed be the name of the Lord! From this time forth and forever, from the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, who humbles himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy as from the ash heap to make them sit with princes, with the princes of his people. He makes the barren woman abide in the house as a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord. Psalm 114 When Israel went forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of strange language, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What ails you, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn back. O mountains, that you skip like rams. O hills like lambs. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, before the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of water. Psalm 115 Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your loving kindness, because of your truth, why should the nations say, Where now is their God? But our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but cannot see. They have ears, but cannot hear. They have noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. They have feet, but they cannot walk. They cannot make a sound with their throat. Those who make them will become like them. Everyone who trusts in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, the small together with the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed of the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth has given to the sons of men. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But as for us, we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forever. Praise the Lord. Psalm 116 I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my supplications, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore I shall call upon him as long as I live. The cords of death encompassed me. 
and the terrors of Sheol came upon me. I found distress and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous. Yes, our God is compassionate. The Lord preserves the simple. I was brought low, and he saved me. Return to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have rescued my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I send in my alarm. All men are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I shall lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I shall pay my vows to the Lord. Oh, may it be in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the one is the death of his godly ones. O oh Lord, surely I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you I shall offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I shall pay my vows to the Lord. O oh, may it be in your presence, in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O oh Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all nations. Laud him, all peoples. For his loving kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord is everlasting. Praise the Lord. Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Let Israel say, His loving kindness is everlasting. O oh, let the house of Aaron say, His loving kindness is everlasting. O oh, let those who fear the Lord say, His loving kindness is everlasting. From my distress I called upon the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is for me. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore, I will look with satisfaction on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations surround me. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They were extinguished as a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. You pushed me violently so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I will not die, but live, and tell of the works of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I shall enter through them. I shall give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous will enter through it. I shall give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and you have become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, do save, we beseech you. O Lord, we beseech you, do send prosperity. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festival 
sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God. I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Amen. This is the word of the Lord.